Hello, I am Lauren Nguetta. And I am Vanessa Gonzalez. For our annotated bibliography for University 101, we both chose to do our projects on the problem of clean water in developing countries. I chose this topic because I feel like everyone should have clean water and wanted to learn why this is such a problem and see what is being done to solve this issue. I chose to research this topic because I didn't know anything about this issue and it interested me so I wanted to learn more about it. Today in our TED Talk video we will be talking to you about our topic. Our goal is to educate you on how widespread this problem is, why it is such an issue, and what we believe is the solution to this problem. Water is an essential part of life. 60% of our body is made up of water. Our bodies need this water to be healthy and function properly. Water is needed to do many things, such as regulate our bodies, hydrate us, and allow blood to flow throughout the body. Without usable water, our bodies cannot be healthy. Water also has many uses in daily life, such as hygiene and cooking. It is a basic need for everyone. In the United States, most of us are lucky enough to have clean water available to us. We often take it for granted and waste it. It is not something we think about. However, in many other countries in the world, they are not as fortunate. In third world countries throughout the world it is a completely different story. Many countries and areas in Africa, Asia, and South America do not have clean water available. People are constantly struggling to get access to clean water. These countries deal with wars, poverty, and disease. They do not have strong governments like we do in the United States that can supply water for everyone. Approximately 783 million people do not have access to clean water. This is more than double the population of the United States. These people often have no choice but to use contaminated water in their daily lives. As a result, they often live in poor living conditions and many suffer from death and disease as a result of contaminated water. According to blueplanet.org, 3.41 million people die from water and hygiene related causes every year. Millions of others are often faced with many water related diseases, such as malaria, diarrhea, trachoma, and hookworm. These countries suffer a lot from not having clean water. Without it, they are not able to develop and live up to their potential. Instead of growing and becoming strong countries, they have to deal with poverty and disease, which all comes back to the issue of not having clean water. Imagine living this way. It is hard because this is not an issue in our country. We do not have to worry about consuming contaminated water or having to deal with water diseases. This has been a problem for a long time and none of the attempts to change this have proved to work. Luckily today, there's a lot of research being done to try and come up with these solutions to this issue. Many nonprofit organizations and other programs are working to come up with methods that provide clean, usable water to everyone. In attempt to clean contaminated water, there are many methods that are used by people in these countries. Some of these methods include boiling water, using groundwater, rainwater, and wells. However, we do not believe these methods are the best solution for the long term. There are many issues with many of these methods, including affordability, safety, and accessibility. We believe that a better solution exists. Our goal was to find a method that provides good quality clean water, is easy to use, can work with many areas throughout the world, affordable for everyone, and accessible. The best solution that we found was solar water disinfection, also known as SODIS. SODIS is a method of disinfecting water that was created by EWOG, the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Sciences and Technology. Their goal was to create a method that was easy to use and provided safe water. Research has shown that this is an effective method that successfully cleans contaminated water. Many foundations have contributed to this project and allow EWOG to introduce SODIS to many developing countries, such as Peru, Togo, Uganda, and Cambodia. And in many cases, this method has proven to work. To properly clean water using the SOTUS method, you need several things. PET bottles, which is short for polyethylene terephthalate. You also need sunlight and the contaminated water. 
Once you have everything you need, the steps are simple. First, you must put the dirty water in the PET bottles. You then put the PET bottles in direct sunlight and let them sit on a hard surface such as a table or roof for six hours. And this is done. The water is now clean and you can either drink the water right away or store it and save it for later. You might be wondering how this is possible for this method to work. It is actually a very simple process, which is why this method is our favorite solution. The PET bottles are specially made to be thin and clear. The bottles being thin allow sunlight to hit it directly. The UV rays from the sunlight are then used to kill the potentially dangerous microorganisms in the contaminated water, making it clean and safe to use. We think that the SOTUS method is the best solution for several reasons. Not only does it provide clean water, it is also very affordable for people in these developing countries, and it is easy to use. It can be used almost anywhere in the world and is already starting to be available in many countries. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our project. We hope that we have given you a good idea of the issue of water in developing countries and how serious this problem is. We also hope that you've gotten an idea of what the SOTUS method is and how beneficial it can be in solving the problem of water in developing countries.